Hi there, and Jim with Fantasy for the Ages here, bringing you another book blast, the conclusion of the Silo Trilogy by Hugh Howey. This is a spoiler light episode for this book only. It assumes now that you've read Wool and Shift, the two books that lead up to Dust. So I'm giving you some reactions about this book, but some of the things I'm going to say are going to totally spoil the previous two. Please don't watch this until you have read the other two awesome books in this trilogy. Dust. Wow. It brings it all home in an amazing way. You know, in Wool, we got to see what life in a silo is like and figure out the mystery of what's going on in these silos. Although we only know of one silo originally, and then we discover a second. In book two, we discover there's this whole big plot and plan that's gone on of how the world came to be this way. And that certain people, including Senator Thurman, were a part of a cabal that made this happen. Their plan to save humanity because science was out of control, nanites were everywhere, and they were going to be used to turn off the wrong people. So they did it first. Disgusting, horrible, and poor Donald, the cat's paw in this, who was used to create the silos and then gets sucked into the program. He's figured out what's going on, and Thurman's daughter, Anna, had also figured it out and realized this isn't about saving all of humanity. This is about saving one silo of humanity. And this whole program is going for about 500 years until they figure out which one is the worthy one, and then everyone else will be killed. Some silos have already been turned off. Others have broken away, and we don't know what's going on in those. But Anna made a switch that allowed Donald to become Thurman, as far as anyone else knows, and he's woken up. That happened right near the end of the last book, and now here, here he is in dust, and what can he do to fix this? We've got stuff going on in Silo 18, our original Silo. We've got stuff going on in Silo 17. Donald is kind of trying to protect what's going on in these other places. However, you got Juliet, our lead protagonist, who's just ticked off having figured out there's this master manipulation going on in the background, and she is coming for those Silo 1 people and making a lot of dust and noise while she does it. This is the story of where does this go? Can Donald pull this off? Can he somehow stop the plan and save what's left of humanity? He's kind of on his own. If anyone else realizes in Silo 1 what he's doing, he'll be killed or frozen. Now, he was already deep frozen once in book two, and he wasn't supposed to wake back up, but Anna did something there. Unfortunately, Anna's gone now, so it's just Donald on his own. Can he keep this up? Will Juliet be successful? Can she actually bring the silos together? And is there a way to stop this nanite craziness? These are the things we seek to find out as we read through Dust. And I want to tell you, you do get the answers. Oh, they are sweet and satisfying. This has an epic conclusion that I, I didn't see coming. I saw hints and glimmers. So when it does happen, I'm like, yay, I get this now. I see where they were taking it. But it was not entirely predictable. And it's, as I like to say it, Hugh Howie lands the plane well. The series as a whole is magnificent. This book is all focused on now, now, now. You know, the stuff that's really happening here in the present. It's an amazing ride. Uh, not everybody makes it. There are real stakes in the book. So check it out. Check out the whole thing. And then go watch Apple TV's Silo series where they seem to be doing a good job bringing these books to life. That's what I've got for you today. If you liked it, remember to like the episode. Subscribe to our channel if for some reason you haven't done it yet. Join the hundreds who have. And we'll keep bringing content to you. Come interact with us. All the ways to do so are in the show notes. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll talk to you next time.